be continuing Delphi Augury's Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery journey. And guess what? We are just about to enter year two at Hogwarts. So if you don't know who Delphi Augury is, she is the daughter of Bellatrix Lestrange and Lord Voldemort. She has gone back in time and is going to school. And she is sorted into Slytherin House. If you guys missed year one, make sure to check out that playlist. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and start chapter one of year two. Year two begins. You return to Hogwarts after a restless summer, a little older, a little wiser, and much more curious about the cursed vaults. Ooh, yes. We actually ended off like kind of going into a vault and then the year just sort of ended. It was a little bit intense. I wish we had got to sort of explore into the vault because I feel like we didn't really quite get to go inside. So I'm hoping this year we actually get to go inside the vault. So gather in the Great Hall is something that we have to do. We have to do Gorgio and Ripa Farage. Um, so there are five parts to chapter one in terms of the storyline part. So we'll be doing that. Now I do want to change Delphi's look a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I've loved this little short hairdo on her for a year one. Um, and now I'm looking into making her look a little older. And now we did win this blue hair. And Delphi usually is supposed to have silver hair with blue tips, but that's not really an option in this game. Not yet anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and start year two by giving her the blue hair. Now if it looks good and like all the scenes and stuff that we do with her, I'll probably keep it all year. If not, then I might change back or I'll look into maybe this hairstyle here, those sort of the longer look. I think that really makes her look mature. I would like to leave that though maybe for year three. Uh, just to kind of, again, gradually get her to look a little older. Now, there's not that many hairstyles to choose right now. So that being said, I think that we kind of have to work with what we have. I hope they come up with some new hairstyles in this game really soon. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so here we can see there are different bracelets and stuff we can buy. We can't really see them with this outfit on because I've now changed her robes as well. So when she's not in class, she'll be wearing this look. So this is gonna look really cute, I think, on Delphi, this, uh, I don't know, the snowy robes, we'll call it. Or maybe the like curse breaker robes, maybe that sounds better, curse breaker robes. So yeah, we're gonna go for that. Now there is some jewelry we could sort of bling her up in, but I think, you know what? I really like that one, but it doesn't really match with the outfit. So maybe that is something that we will add a different outfit later yeah she kind of already has something like it kind of looks like a jewelry or a pendant so I chose to wear this guys it has a dragon on it so like a little choker and it looks I don't know I think it's super cool and I'm wearing it to represent Delphi and her ferocious nature they don't have auguries but I figure a dragon is like is crazy and tough as we can go <laughs> so Anyways, I'm kind of trying to dress the part a little bit. I wish I had silver hair, but I'm not willing to dye my hair, and I don't know how I'd look with a silver wig, to be honest. If you guys have feedback, you can let me know. Penny, the hero of Hogwarts has returned. I can't wait to see what you get up to this year, Delphi. Yay. Penny, I love Penny. Ben, not so much. It's good to see you again, Delphi. Hopefully you can make it through this year without tangling with Devil's Snare. Oh yeah, because we did that in year one. That was really intense. We had a very intense year, for sure. So hopefully this year is gonna be pretty awesome. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff to do. Um, let's go, and I guess then we'll talk to Rowan first. Delphi, how were your summer holidays? I learned a lot, I practiced a lot, I worried a lot. We didn't worry, worry about what? I decided to finally read what was published about my brother and the cursed vaults in the Daily Prophet. I didn't find any clues about the location of the vaults, but I learned a lot about his obsession and how he was viewed. Hopefully, it will help me figure out what happened to him. And there's another plot twist. Delphi has a brother. I read everything I could find related to the secret message we found in that room. The Ice Knight stands guard past the vanished stairs. Exactly. I 
didn't find anything about the Ice Knights, but I found a description of staircases in Hogwarts that no longer seem to exist. That's amazing, Rowan. Those vanished stairs could lead to a cursed vault. And if I can find a cursed vault, I might be able to find my brother. There are 142 known staircases in this castle. It will take a long time to search everywhere. Including that secret one we found last year, or is that 143? <laughs> Let's ask Ben and Penny to help us search, so it will go faster. Good idea, Delphi. We'll find them right after Professor Dumbledore gives his welcome speech. Welcome to our new first year students. For all you returning students, welcome back. Focus on your studies, make time for your friends, but above all else, be careful as you journey about the castle. If you see anything odd that isn't normal, Hogwarts sort of oddity, do not hesitate to tell a professor. Every year is an interesting one at Hogwarts, but something tells me this year holds more surprises than most. Enough of my grand proclamations and ominous warnings. Please enjoy the feast. And we will. Yay! Woo! All the food is there. Penny is over there. Oh dear. Let's ask for help. Hey, Penny. Have you seen Ben? I wanted to see if you two could help us search the castle. No, I haven't. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen him since we stepped off the Hogwarts Express. I'm a little worried, Delphi, especially after what happened last year with the Cursed Ice. Let's ask around to see if anyone knows where he is. Where is Ben? Okay, so I guess that's the million dollar question right now. Where is he? He's not at the tables that I can see, so... Need to talk to Penny, we need to do the spells too. So, this is only one hour to ask about Ben, and that will be a good way for us to use our energy. Ask Filch, as if he's gonna know. Litwick, he might. Snape, he'd never tell anyways. Marula, Felix, yeah, they don't care about Ben at all. Dumbledore, he probably doesn't have an idea. Ask Chester, a Ravenclaw student, okay. Rowan, well, we already know she doesn't know. Mr. Sprout, he's not fond of herbology, so I doubt it, he's scared of it. All right, so there we go. We only need one star to pass that one, but that's okay. No big deal. Any word on Ben? Lots of words, and some of them are very strange. I don't know if we should be worried, but I'm certainly curious. We have to make sure he's okay. Is there anyone else we can ask for help? Professor McGonagall, his prefect. Mm, McGonagall, maybe? I'd say probably McGonagall's the better choice. I know that's the one they want you to choose, so I'm kind of inclined to say not that one, but hey, we chose the right one for sure. We leveled up. I'll ask Professor McGonagall what she thinks. She is his head of house, so she'll know what to do. Thanks, Delphi. Please let me know what you find. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, don't worry. Ask about Ben. Professor McGonagall will know what to do about Ben's disappearance. Let's try to find her later and ask. She definitely doesn't know, but she will want us to keep an eye out and obviously tell her or somebody else if we find anything. But she should know better. We are up to no good, as always. So we've got a couple of things that we have to learn. We have to learn Epiphrage, but Marula's here. 
You look worried, doggery. What do you want, Marula? I was just wondering whether you had any luck finding that cowardly mudblood friend of yours. Do you know what happened to Ben? I know more than you. I know that sometimes, even when people are missing, they're exactly where they're supposed to be. What are you talking about? There are things happening at this school that you could never begin to understand, Augury. She's evil. Trying to uncover those things is going to get you killed. The Cursed Vault, my brother. Are you talking about the Cursed Vaults? Do you know where they are? Did Ben go looking for them? You'll learn everything soon enough. Unless you die first. If you aren't going to help me find Ben, then just stay away from me, Marula. As you wish, Aubrey. But don't say I didn't warn you. She totally knows. Grr. She's evil. We're we're bad. Bad to the bone. But she's just like ugh, annoying, like a bully annoying, mean. Not the kind that we're looking for from Voldemort and Bellatrix's child, you know? Like they're they're a different type of evil, so we haven't really seen much of that from Delphi, so Maybe she's changing her ways? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think it's gonna take a lot more than than one year at Hogwarts to turn her to, uh, to the good side. All right, so there are some energy spots, guys, around Hogwarts. I am going to be doing a free energy video for you so you guys can find all of them in year one. Apparently for year two, it looks like they haven't changed at all. We haven't unlocked any um, other places or locations that we can go. So I guess it will count for year one and two. I wanted to check before I did that video um, which areas are unlocked and locked for years one and two. Maybe we'll unlock something at some point, but it doesn't look like it for now. So Repiferage is the first one, uh, first spell that we need to do. Now, um, I we have to like unlock it and all that stuff and then finally actually do the class. Now that will work the same for any of the spells that we learn this year. Welcome to the first Transfiguration class of your second year. I will remind you that Transfiguration is some of the most complex and dangerous magic you will learn at Hogwarts. I expect complete concentration and absolute attention to detail. I realize, however, that you are learning and mistakes will be made. One such mistake is this failed attempt at turning a cat into a cauldron. Thankfully, a spell exists that can undo most mistakes. Repeparage. So casual. Oh, she's got more complex wand movements than that. <laughs> that was a lot of wand movements before she actually did the spell. Now then, who would like to go first? Ooh, us, 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 us. Okay, so the class will begin. We will learn Repiferage. So basically that's all that this does. You guys need five stars to pass to learn it. Now I feel like this is going to be useful for a whole bunch of different kinds of things. So obviously this one I feel, it's not Revealio, so we're not revealing an object's true identity. But I do feel like this one will be useful um, for transfiguring certain objects into what we want. So we're again, we're not revealing, but we are doing the transfiguring itself into an item. So it's kind of cool, the cat into a cauldron. I find that really fun. 
Um, and I do really like the animation and the graphics in this game for sure. It is a little bit different though than we saw in the initial Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery trailer for the game. I did think that the quality was going to be a lot higher and a lot more different, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I was a little disappointed with that, but I still like the idea of it kind of being a little, like just a tiny bit kind of like The Sims where we do sort of, you know, get to create our avatars and stuff like that. I feel like they need to do a lot more with this game in that regard, with more like hair, outfits, you know, facial choices. There needs to be a little bit more complexity to it, but I think that that is something hopefully that will come in time. I know they can't really change the graphics of the game, but they can definitely change um, everything else, really, more options for us. How many health points have you earned this year? Okay, so um, let's go here. We've got some students in the Southern Common Room. Did you ever have trouble with bullies during your first year? Mm, Marula. Is it true what they're saying about you and the cursed ice? Like we'd ever tell a stranger. Great work deciphering the note, Rowan. You aren't going to believe this, Delphi. At first, I thought I'd translated it wrong, but I quadruple checked my work. What does it say? Your next instructions have been transfigured into a black quill and hidden in the Gryffindor common room. Failure to follow your instructions will result in severe punishment? Ah. Black quill? And who is R? I've been wondering the same thing. Felix Rosier, Rubius Hagrid, Argus Filch. I can't imagine any of them writing this. If this message was intended for Ben, we have to find that quill. We can use Refarage to undo the transfiguration. The bigger problem is how we'll get into the Gryffindor common room. Students aren't allowed inside another house's common room. I'll focus on learning that spell. You try to come up with a plan to get us into the Gryffindor common room. Be careful, Delphi. Whoever wrote this note sounds dangerous. Not more dangerous than us. Ha 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 ha. All right, so here we go, Charms class. So again, we need to unlock it and then do I the actual student, spell. Sure so prepared. we need to do an eight hour class if we want to get all the stars just in one go. Study Flipendo. Oh. Nice to see you again, class. Today we will be reviewing the Knockback Jinx Flipendo. Oh good. I hope to be knocked off my feet by how far your spell work has come. You will be. Hmm. Please study Flipendo while I prepare for the next lesson. We know Flipendo. We're good. At, actually, no, we're not very good at Flipendo. <laughs> That's actually the one spell that Delphi is having trouble with. Me and her are just not coordinated properly or something with our finger when we trace the screen. We have a lot of trouble doing this. Just the one spell. Everything else is fine. Stealthy, pass me that note while the professor isn't looking. Could Rowan make it any more obvious that she's waiting for a note? I want to see what happens when they fail. Uh, busted. Nothing really happens. Okay. Flipendo review. That was uneventful. Let's review what we previously learned about the knockback jinx. All right. We're gonna need a lot of energy to get through this. Eight hour classes, you cannot use one round of energy. You have to use at least three. So just be warned guys. A three hour class usually gets you through like one and a half or one and three quarters worth of energy. So that just sort of gives you an idea. And then I'll say one hour class just gives you one round. Delphi Augury, have you been keeping up with your studies? Oh, well, we'll find out in the question. 
What kind of spell is Flipendo? A jinx, transfiguration, a curse. Obviously it's a jinx. It's called the knockback jinx. Oh, that was so hard, Professor Flitwick. I don't know why she's smiling. She should be like, Ugh, I can't believe she just asked me that super easy question. Review Flipendo details. Take some time to review everything you've learned about the knockback jinx. Everything we've learned. Well, we know it's a jinx. We know it's very useful in dueling. Uh, and we learn it in charm class. Really? Do we need to know anything else? Focus, or you might forget some of the details. Of course, Rowan. But we're brilliant, so focusing is easy. Prepare to cast Flipendo. Hmm. Why don't you demonstrate how much you've practiced? Ooh, okay. We can do this. Hopefully we'll be able to get through this pretty quickly. I think we'll have enough energy now actually to get through the lesson. Choose your reward. Always choose the diamond, guys. Always, always, always. It's time to make Flitwick proud with my Flipendo. Delphi? What? Come on, it was perfect. See, this is what I'm talking about. We just are no good at Flipendo together. Hmm. Tutor Flipendo. Delphi Aubrey, you have excellent form. Would you please help tutor the other students in the knockback jinx? Yes, but we can't cast the damn spell for some reason. What is wrong with us? Not good, not good. We need to improve. By teaching other students, I guess. All right, there's our last star, guys. Choose your reward. Demonstrating Flipendo might help you understand the spell. Okay, we gotta do it again. <gasps> Brilliant, we did it! <laughs> I knew we'd get it eventually. And now everybody else can do it and they won't laugh at us because when you get it wrong, they laugh at you and they do nothing. We unlocked Engorgio. So that means we can do that class now, which is sweet. Okay, so out we go. Feed the max out Niffler. Hmm, that or Engorgio. I guess we can start it, hopefully. I don't remember this classroom being so cold. I heard Professor Dumbledore left Hogwarts to look for someone. Do you think it was Ben Cooper or you know who? I heard Marula say she has a shard of cursed ice. Do you think she's telling the truth? Ah. No. Welcome class. Today we will be learning in Gorgio. The engorgement charm is the counter charm to the shrinking charm, causing the target to grow or swell. I expect all of you to demonstrate maturity and restraint while casting this charm. Let us begin. Ooh, okay, we have to show restraint or else what? Okay, so this is going to take three hours to learn. We need all stars to pass this one. So, Engorgio lecture. Today we will learn the engorgement charm, Engorgio. 
have a lecture for you on the techniques required to accomplish the engorgement charm. Listen carefully. Okay. And will this give us our first star? Yes, it does. Choose your reward. Oh. Now, I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. If you cast Engorgio on someone's mouth, their teeth would be what? Green, full of holes, big. Big. Actually, Malfoy does that to Hermione's teeth in the Harry Potter books. It doesn't happen in the actual films, but it does happen in the books. Practice in Gorgio's stance. I have some tips to show you for casting the shrinking charm. Watch me, students. The shrinking charm. Shrinking? I don't think that's right. We're making things big, not small. I think that's a typo, guys. Who thinks they can imitate what I have shown you? What about you, Miss Aubrey? Okay, pick on us all the time. That's pretty easy. Not like Flipendo, that's for sure. And we're brilliant. Study in Gorgio Incantation. Study the incantation. Remember, in Gorgio, engorgement charm. Easy. It actually is quite easy. Question is, can we make it? <laughs> Running out of time. Choose your reward. Oh dear. Take a moment and focus on the pronunciation. Engorgio. 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 We should be able to do this pretty easy. It's just a focus. Yay! I thought they were going to do something different with these classes, but they all seem to be kind of the same. Review Engorgio details. Please review the chapter on Engorgement Charm. Ooh, guys, I don't know if we're going to make it. Alright, there's the fourth star. We're so close. Choose your reward. Let's work together. We have to remember every detail of the spell. Concentrate. We can do that. Brilliant. I don't really like Delphi's hair in this light. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it kind of makes the blue look kind of yellowy, gross. Prepare to cast Engorgio. I believe you're ready to make an attempt. Try casting the Engorgement Charm. I just don't think it's appropriate with this. I don't know. It's not even with the robes. It's just when you look at the, how the light reflects on it, it just doesn't really make any sense. Like why it looks like that. It's not really blue anymore. It's like overexposed or something, or like enhanced, they enhanced it too much on their end. I don't know. We did it with four minutes to spare. Yay! Time to cast Gorgia. Let's see how this goes. Grows. Not goes. Rose. Brilliant! So Engorgio is this way, and Reducio is the other way. So this is good. That's all for today. Last is Can't believe we're gonna try and sneak into a, another house's common room. Like, that's ridiculous. Oh. Well done, Miss Augury. You continue to impress. 
Thank you. Oh, chapter one's complete. What already? So I guess we are going to be working towards guys getting into another house's common room and yeah, I guess we're on the search for Ben. So I guess we'll have to wait till the next video to continue on to chapter two. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn on that little bell for post notifications because there's lots more Harry Potter talk to come. So chapter two, growing and shrinking. As your magical skills improve, Rowan concocts a plan to sneak into another house's common room and find the black quill.